you probably see me crawling under the fork and I don't know, it's alright. Anyways, welcome back guys. So we're doing going for my vinyl collection once again. So not sure what part this is, I actually kind of forgot. But um yeah, we're gonna go for my vinyl collection again. So I'm just gonna get this one out of the way real quick. I don't know if you guys remember me getting this, but this is um Flamingo, the Flamingo EP. Not Flamingo single, my bad. By Kiro Kiro Benito. It's not one of well, I, I like the song. I wouldn't say it's one of the all time best they did, but I just saw it at the record store and just thought I'd get it. It's a fun song though. It's probably their most well known as well. It's not a non album single, by the way, so So is that. Now this one is Psalm 69, The Way to Succeed and The Way to Suck Eggs by Ministry. And they're an industrial metal band. Started off as a synth pop band, mm -hmm. then became an industrial metal band from Illinois, Chicago, I believe. And um, they're one of the first industrial metal bands as well. They're one of the best in the genre, too, in my opinion. And this album's a classic. It's easily one of my favorite industrial music albums, related music albums my favorite by them as well it's really diverse musically as well too and it's also their best selling and most popular all right hold on this one is larks tongues and aspic by king crimson this is my second favorite release after them by them after um red They're from England. They're from, I believe, London, I believe. There's a lot of groups from England, though, but you know. Ooh, crap, ooh. Yep, I know, I know, the OneDrive. Yep. All right, anyway, so this is the... Uh... All right, hold on, this is the... It's the thing. The first and last, well, there's a lot of songs off of this, actually, that are instrumental. It's not all instrumental, but there are quite a few that are. And there are songs that have lyrics, too. But it's a really good release. It's very experimental, though. Like, very avant-garde. Not for everyone, but I enjoy it. This one is Untitled, or the Bracket album, or... I don't know. It's, it's the kind of, yeah. In parentheses, in parentheses album. It's by Sigaros. They're from Iceland. This is my favorite release they did, personally. Like, a lot of people will consider a gay just Byron to be their best, but personally, I prefer this. But a gay just Byron is great. I just prefer this one. That's the... So, hold on. It's just this album's really pretty. It's also just a lot heavier on the second side, too. There's a lot more progressive elements I guess if that makes sense and it's, it just feels like a much more rewarding experience it's just, and I also just find the fact they made their own language called Hopelandic for this album which is interesting because they speak in Icelandic I guarantee you most people who probably listen to their music probably don't understand a word they say so maybe they just thought well most of our audience can't understand what we're saying why not just make our own language I'm assuming that's what went for their mind because they don't speak in English they speak in Icelandic but they're a really good group the group I like for the music because I can't understand the words they're saying though but I'm sure there's some trans translated lyrics maybe I can go into that but this one is For the First Time by Black Country New Road this is their first album it's my favorite album of the year so far and it's probably not going to be my favorite album of the year forever, but it's so far it's my favorite album of the year. I'm looking forward to Squid and also Kira Kira Benito's new EP. Those. And also I heard Lingua Agnata is releasing something. That, those could possibly overtake that, but who knows. Anyways, um, let's go on to this. All right, uh, hold on. The book it comes with. So they're a post-rock, kind of post-punk, Experimental rock band from London, England. 
Maybe have some musical influences of post hardcore along with klezmer and stuff like that, and also some electronic sections with the keyboards. I expect this will not be the group's masterpiece because Basketball Shoes is not on it. And I don't know if you guys know the song Basketball Shoes, but they played that song live, and that's my favorite they did. So, whatever album has that is likely going to be their opus. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a song on this called Opus, and I wish I would have saved, and there we go. Okay. Their magnum opus, I guess, yeah. But Opus is my favorite song off this, though. Um, hold on, let me go get the record. The record itself, it's white. And it's also, the original cover doesn't have the inverted thing. I just, the one with the colored record has the inverted colors. And the last record is, um, I already did this today, but What's Going On by Marvin Gaye. It's from Washington, D.C. And that poster, uh... I don't know. Poster. Yeah, that came with this. This is, I got this from Target. And, uh, it's actually really nice, actually. Maybe I might check out other stuff from Target or Walmart or Best Buy or whatever, you know. It's really nice, I think. It's the inside of it. And then, um,. The record itself is probably one of the prettiest looking records I own. The record itself is like a really pretty green color. Yeah, I really like that. It looks kind of like a bluish green on there, but it's not. It's like a, it's like a green. It doesn't look bluish green to me in real life, but it kind of does on the camera. But anyways, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.